Buster the Wizard. It's time for a fairy tale. Here's the storybook. Today is the tale of Buster the Wizard. Buster the Bus is driving cheerfully through the forest when suddenly he comes across a strange book resting on a giant mushroom. It's a spell book. Nearby in the town square, Terry is having fun gardening, yet the plants don't seem to be growing that well. Buster knows how he can help. He casts one of the spells in the book. The flowers have gotten so big. The spell book really does work. Buster is a great wizard. Scout and Jesse are amazed by Buster's magic. They want to have fun with the spell book too. Buster flips the book to another page and looks inside for more fun spells. It's the bumblebee spell. That should be fun. Scout is excited to play with magic. Buster focuses and casts the spell at Scout. Whoa! Buster has turned Scout into a bee. Now she has bee wings and she can buzz about flying all over the place. Jessie wants to fly too. Buster will have to find another spell. The bubble spell? That should be fun. It will make Jessie fly into the air just like Scout. Jessie is ready. Buster the wizard gets ready, concentrates hard, and casts the spell. There's a flash of magic and... Wow! Scout and Jessie can both fly now. Look how much fun they're having. <laughs> the magic is fun. But wait, something's not right. The magic is out of control. Terry and Jessie are both stuck. Buster needs to do something, quick! He reads from the spell book and undoes the spells. The plants shrink back to a normal size and come under control. Terry is relieved to be free. Scout transforms from a bee back to her normal self. Now she doesn't have to worry about being chased by frogs. Jessie's bubble disappears and she peacefully floats to the ground. She's finally free. Buster's friends are tired of Buster playing with the spell book. Even though the magic was fun, it got out of hand. Back in the enchanted forest, the friends return the book to its mushroom. Now they can go have fun. Buster stuck in the car wash. Buster had lots of fun splashing around in the puddles, but now he's covered in mud. It's time for Buster to get all fresh and clean at the car wash. Buster loves all the bubbles and warm water. 
Buster will be squeaky clean in no time. The car wash can rinse off even the toughest dirt. Buster loves to wash, especially when there's lots of bubbles. Here comes Tony the truck. But oh no, there is a cable running across the road. Oops! Tony has knocked out the power cable to the car wash. The car wash will stop working. Buster is stuck in the car wash. No matter what he does, he can't wiggle free. Buster needs help getting out. What is he going to do? Here's Buster's best friend, Scout the car. Maybe she can help. Scout tries to push Buster out. But no matter how hard she tries, Scout can't get Buster out. He really is stuck tight. It's not working. No matter what they do, Scout can't get Buster free. Buster is so upset. But Scout is going to quickly get help. Buster has to be really brave now. It can be scary waiting all on your own. Scout has brought all the emergency vehicles to help. They will know just what to do. With everyone working together, they will get Buster out in no time. No need to be scared now. Actually, the fire truck has a plan to get Buster Ooh. out. He just has to hold on to this rope. <laughs> Ashley is going to use all her strength to pull Buster out. Ashley is bigger than Scout, and she has some help. But will she be able to pull Buster free? <laughs> Otis, the police car, is pushing from the back. Teamwork is a great way to solve problems. Amber, the ambulance, is helping Ashley pull, too. But Buster is still not moving. Everyone is trying their best to free Buster, but he's stuck. What else can they do? But what's this? Scout found the plug to the car wash. Maybe if she plugs it back in... The car wash roars back to life, and Buster pops right out! Hooray! He's finally free! They did it together! Teamwork always works best! <laughs> that was such an exciting day! Good thing Buster has such amazing friends that always help him out! <laughs> Buster's Chocolate Easter Egg Hunt <laughs> It's Easter! And Buster the Bus is on a hunt for some Easter eggs! How many can he find? Buster has spotted the first egg! It's bright green! How exciting! Here's another egg behind that bush. This one is yellow, just like Buster. There's another one behind that bush. Buster is great at egg hunting. Whoa! Buster has found so many eggs. There's red, yellow, blue, and green ones.
Buster unwraps the first egg. They're all made of tasty chocolate. Time to dig in. <laughs> Yummy. Buster loves chocolate. He stays up all night munching on the chocolate eggs. The next morning, Buster wakes up nice and early. But uh-oh, Buster woke up with a tummy ache. He ate a few too many of those chocolate eggs. Buster's best friend Scout comes round to play. But Buster is in no mood to play. His tummy hurts so much. Poor Buster. Amber the ambulance drives past and Scout calls her over to help Buster. Amber is worried. Poor Buster looks so unwell. Amber always knows how to help little buses. She will know just what to do. Oh. Amber checks Buster's temperature. Mm. It's higher than normal. Mm. Buster is really ill. Here's some medicine. Buster has to open wide. It doesn't taste very nice, but it will help Buster get better. To feel well again, Buster also has to eat something healthy. Eating fruit every day helps your body stay healthy. Buster doesn't want to eat the apple. It looks kind of sour. But it's important to eat it to get better. Buster gives the apple a try and gobbles it all up. That wasn't so bad. The apple was actually really tasty. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Buster is feeling much better already. His tummy ache is all gone. <laughs> Here comes Diggly. He's looking especially cheerful today. What is he carrying? Oh dear. Another chocolate egg. Scout is excited to eat it, but Buster doesn't look too happy. <laughs> Buster has had enough chocolate eggs for one Easter. That just means there's more eggs left for Diggly and Scout. The Bully Bandit Bus <laughs> It's a beautiful sunny day. Jesse the Jeep has a tasty looking cake. She's so excited to eat it. Uh-oh, it's Bandit the Bus. He looks mischievous. What could he be planning? Oh no! Bandit has pushed Jessie out of the way and has eaten her cake! What a nasty bus! Bandit has sped off and left poor Jessie with no cake. Jessie is so upset and doesn't understand how Bandit could be so mean. Meanwhile, Buster the Bus and his best friend Scout are playing in the car park. Buster is giving Scout a soccer ball as a gift. <laughs> Scout loves the soccer ball and starts playing with it immediately. Buster is such a great friend. Meanwhile, over by the road, some red and orange bricks are being held up high. Someone strong must be lifting these bricks. It's Diggly. He's building a tower of colorful bricks. But oh no, he's noticed something coming towards him. It's Bandit the bus. What mischief has he got planned for Diggly?
Bandit gently pokes Diggly's tower, and the bricks start to wobble. Diggly is so afraid, he can't look as his tower might fall over. Oh no! The tower has fallen over with a mighty crash. Bandit zooms away, laughing. Diggly is so upset! Now Bandit has come up to Scout and Buster. Scout is afraid of what Bandit might do. Oh no! Bandit has stolen Scout's brand new soccer ball and is now playing with it. Scout is so upset that her ball has been stolen. Soccer is her favorite game. Buster is very annoyed with Bandit. He thinks it's time that someone stood up to that horrid bully. That someone will be him. Scout warns Buster to be careful. She doesn't want Bandit to bully Buster as well. Buster is very brave. He approaches Bandit and tells him to give the ball back to Scout. It isn't nice to take things that don't belong to you. Bandit does not listen to Buster. He decides he's going to bully Buster instead. Buster is afraid, but he's not alone. Jesse and Scout have appeared to stand by him. Buster, Jesse, and Scout are all fed up with Bandit being a bully. They tell him that enough is enough. Nearby, Otis the police car is enjoying an ice cream. He's so distracted he doesn't hear Bandit and Buster. Buster tells Bandit that they aren't going to be bullied anymore. They are tired of Bandit being so mean. Uh-oh, Bandit has bumped into Otis and made him drop his ice cream. Bandit will be in trouble for this. Serves Bandit right for being a bully. Scout's ball is back and now her, Buster, and Jesse can play in peace. <laughs> Buster and the Hot Air Balloon. It's a lovely day on Old McDonald's farm. The sun is shining bright and the wind is blowing. Monty the Hot Air Balloon enjoys clear days. They're great for flying. Buster and Terry have come to visit Monty. It's Buster's first time meeting a hot air balloon. <laughs> Monty is very happy to meet Buster. He is sure that the two of them are going to be great friends. <laughs> oh no! The wind has started to pick up. Monty is being blown away! Monty is tied to the fence with a strong rope so he doesn't blow away. But uh-oh, it looks like the rope is coming loose! Buster doesn't know what he can do to help. He needs to think of something. The rope has come loose and now Monty is blowing off on the wind. He's getting further and further away and he's calling out for help. <gasps> Buster doesn't know what to do. How are they going to get Monty back? He's very high in the sky. There he is. Buster and Terry race along the road trying to catch up. 
Monty's rope is hanging on that tree. Buster has a plan for how he can get Monty back down. Of course! Buster is going to use it as a lasso and rope Monty in like a cowboy. He swings the rope around his head and throws it into the sky. Buster did so well, but Monty is too high up in the air. The lasso can't reach him. Buster and Terry don't know what to do. They follow Monty further down the road. <laughs> it's Iggy, the ice cream truck. He's got a lot of colorful balloons. <laughs> Buster has another brilliant idea. He ties the balloons around himself and starts to float up into the sky. Buster is floating high up. He's almost reached Monty. Buster reaches out as far as he can and grabs Monty. He's safe now. Monty is so happy that Buster has rescued him. Look at them fly. Buster gently guides Monty back down to ground level and ties him off with a strong rope. Terry is very relieved everyone is back safe on solid ground. Monty is so grateful that his new friend Buster saved him. Buster was so brave. Buster in the Colorland. It's Buster the Bus, waking up on a brand new day. But wait, something's not right. Where have all the colors gone? Even Robin doesn't have any color. But wait, what's Buster doing? Wow! Buster brought back Robin's color! Buster is coloring in the whole street. That baby duckling lost her color. Buster is here to help. Hooray! The color is back. Oh, look how happy the little duckling is. Look, Terry Tractor's farm has lost its color too. But Buster is here to help. Terry looks so sad. Pow! Terry's color is back again. Oh no, Scout has lost her color too. But Buster is here to help. Buster uses his color superpower. And Scout is back to normal. I wonder if Buster can color that bouncy ball. Now the ball is green. Now the ball is purple. Wait, I think Buster has an idea. Pa! 
Wow! Buster made Scout rainbow colored. Now he's rainbow colored too. It's Buster the Rainbow Bus. Buster and Scout have gone to find Terry. Pow! Terry the Rainbow Tractor! Even the fields are a rainbow. And the barn! Rainbow colors everywhere! There's just one thing missing. Pow! Buster's coloring the clouds. And now he's made a rainbow. It's so amazing and colorful. Rainbow Buster is driving over the rainbow. Oh, it was only a dream. Look, it's raining outside. Wait, what's Buster doing? Buster made the sun come out. Maybe he really is magic. Buster and the Giant Ice Cream I wonder what Buster and Diggly are doing. They both look excited. Wow! They drew an ice cream. Look at the colors. Green, yellow, blue, red. Here comes Iggy, the ice cream truck. Whoa! Diggly has one big ice cream cone. Buster and Diggly want Iggy to help them make the giant ice cream. Which color goes first? Ooh, cherry! What a delicious flavor! Time for Iggy to make an ice cream. Wow, look at all that ice cream! One big red ice cream. Right, next is a blue ice cream. Another layer. Higgy doesn't look so sure. Buster is choosing the flavor. Blueberry, another tasty flavor. Here comes some more ice cream. Now there is a blue layer. The next layer is yellow. Banana flavor, of course. More ice cream incoming! Now there's a yellow layer. Just the green layer to go now. 
Buster's choosing the last flavor. Apple! What a tasty ice cream this will be! The ice cream already looks quite wobbly. One last layer to go. Iggy's getting pretty tired. There! A green layer! Whoa! That's one big ice cream! What's this? I wonder where Robin is going. Robin's calling Scout to follow him. Wow! Buster and Diggly have thrown a surprise party for Scout's birthday. Scout looks so pleased. That's what the ice cream's for. It's Scout's birthday present. Uh-oh, Diggly can't hold it. Sploosh! Oh no, the ice cream fell over. Aw, Buster's put a birthday candle on the ice cream. Now everyone can tuck into the ice cream. What a fun birthday for Scout!